Hi, Nico. <clears throat> I just wanted to ask about that bond, that chemistry that you just mentioned. How do the guys in the squad build that, that sense of togetherness? Um, you know what, I actually don't know, but I remember the first, the first time I got called up for Wales, um, I think as soon, as soon as I got in, the, you could see the bond and the chemistry between the players. There's, there's, no, there's no real groups where they stick together. Everyone's always together and um, I think the chemistry and the bond we have as a team is something special and I can't really see, be, well, I can't really see as many international teams having the bond we have as a group. Um, sometimes you go into a team where the senior lads are more together and the younger lads are more together than you've got the in-betweens, but with this team it's everyone together, there's no little groups or whatever, it's just everyone's together and, and like I said, yeah, the chemistry and the bond we have as a team is, is something special. Uh, just want to take you back to the Switzerland game um, because it was quite open at times. Obviously, their goal came from a set piece as well. What have the defensive group in particular been discussing and been working on after that match? Yeah, um, you know, we know that set pieces in, in a tournament is going to be something some dangerous for all teams. Um, I think that's what we work hard on in training is, is knowing our roles in our set piece jobs. Um, and we need to be, we need to win our one v one individual duels to to help that. Um, and that's for that could be not giving away silly free kicks in and around the box or even wide. Um, so that's where the set piece will come from. If if you're not winning your individual battles, um, then silly free kicks can come or or even silly corners can come. So. First and foremost, is you, you win your individual battles to prevent that happening. Um, then, if a set piece does come about, then you need to be you need to be first the ball. It has to be Wales ball first, um, and that goes from defending to attacking. If if we do get a set piece from attacking, then um, we, we need to know our routine and we need to know what role we're doing in that. Um, and luckily against um, Switzerland, um, that that uh, came off. Um, we knew that it was going to go into Joe Morel to whip it in, and and Kiefer Moore, the probably the biggest man on the pitch, got his head to it and scored a fantastic goal. So it's not something that just happens; it's it's practiced and trained. If you do come in and start the game, Nico, what sort of intensity? Are you expecting, and do you think a lack of game time for your club this season is going to affect you in any way? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I think as a professional, it's not just if you're not playing at your club reg like more as what you think you should be. Um, you need to make sure you're keeping up your fitness, and, and if that's I don't know doing extra in training, um, coming in on your days off, then you have to do that. Um, I think us as professionals, we know we know how our body feels, and if we don't feel fit enough in the game, then, like I said, we we have to come in on our days off, or we have to do more um, after training. So I don't think that's gonna play a big part in in a game if I play. Um, I've always had that energetic um, kind of style to my game, where kind of for me it's always just non-stop running and trying to give the team as much energy, energy as possible so um, I hope that doesn't play a big part but obviously out here um, it's hot um, and you know the lads it's, it's, it is hard playing in whatever degrees we're playing in if it's 25 30 degrees so it's going to be tough but um, if we stick as a team and everyone's helping each other then that's only going to make it easier for, for ourselves. And just finally, lots of fans expected in the stadium. It's going to be a very different atmosphere. Many of them following Turkey as well. Does that spur you on, the fact that it might well be like a home game for Turkey? Um, yeah, I think obviously us lads, we've been speaking to each other about it. And um, I think having fans back in the stadium gets you more motivated. And if that's basically going to be like an away game for us against Turkey, then that's going to motivate us more to make sure we get the win in front of their fans. Um, 
we know there's going to be quite a lot coming to the game and we know it's going to be loud and as long as we stick together and help each other then we'll have a great chance of, of winning the game and hopefully um, get the win in front of their fans but um, vice versa I think our fans even if 500 come out or a thousand it, it could be just as loud as 30,000 with our fans because that's how good they are and the support they give us give us is is unreal and um, even against uh, Switzerland you could hear the fans screaming you could hear the fans um, singing the national anthem and um, there's nothing more than motivated than hearing your own fans um, cheer you on.